okay so now in this video we will add braking system to our vehicle simply open up the script and after this steering vehicle let's say world apply brakes then in here as you know that in most of the game the vehicle breaks on the space button so we will set the same button so right here say if input dot get key then key code dot space then what we will do we will say present actually let's go ahead and create the variables first of all so right here in the vehicle engine let's create a public float by the name of braking force this will be equals to 200f whoops then write down below create a private float by the name of present brake force and this will be equals to 0f now down below if the space key is pressed then the present brake force will be equals to braking force in the else we will say present brake force will be equals to 0f that's it now write down below as you know that we want to stop the vehicle wheels so for that we will say front right wheel collider dot brake torque will be equals to present brake force and in the similar way let's do it for the front left then back right and back left and in this way the your vehicle will be able to apply brakes on the space button so now if we just scroll up right here after this vehicle steering let's call this function apply brakes and you will be good to go so now if we get back to unity and now let's play the game let's play it on the maximize screen and now you will notice that when we move the vehicle as you can see the vehicle is moving now if you press the space button as you can see the vehicle stops now if we move it backwards and let's press the space button as you can see the vehicle stops okay now let's move it forward to the left and right and as you can see the vehicle is moving perfectly fine let's press the space button and the vehicle stops so as you can see the vehicle ties stop as well okay because we type a code for that as you can see it looks really realistic so now with our car tires i mean our car brakes added now what is remaining that if we play the game you will notice let me change into scene view let's click on actually let's not maximize it you will notice that the wheels are a little bit in the bottom direction as you can see and on this side the wheels are being rotated so first of all let's fix the suspension issue with our vehicle so if we click on wheel colliders here it is okay we can move the vehicle colliders a little bit up there so let's select the front left and right let's move them up let me actually select it again if we change this value to 0.05 as you can see now it cut down okay if we set it as 0.03 i think 0.03 will be a good value for this or 0.02 as well as you can see if we turn on the gizmos there it is also let's make the radius of it as 0.2 or actually let's just leave it as 0.3 and just change this suspension to 0.02 okay let's if we stop the game now as you can see it is again 0.1 let's select all of them 
and change this to 0 0.02 now if we play it again let's move the vehicle now as you can see the vehicle looks really good now as you can see the tires are not that much in the air okay if we move it backward as you can see they can move backward now let's move it in the front direction as you can see now the tiles looks good on the vehicle as you can see okay so now the good value for this suspension will be 0.03 and with that when you change now let's fix the issue with these tiles because they rotate when we start the game okay so in order to fix this let's focus up on this wheel front left and let me check out its position okay it is right here okay now what we can do with this is right here if you notice the rotation of this tile is on 180 so what you need to do is simply change this to zero okay now as you can see the vehicle is on the other side and select the vehicle inner things okay which is inside this wheel front left okay right here make the y rotation of each of this to for example let's rotate them okay on 180 so select all of them and click on this rotation y and make it 180 okay and now you will notice the tire is being rotated now let's set this tire up so if we put it inside that tire like that okay we will be get to know the position of this tire okay now let's move this tire forward but actually let me just set this up correctly okay so like this let's move it down right here okay here it is let's move it in the forward direction let's turn on this gizmo so that we can see the colliders for this tire as well let's move it inside this thing okay Let's select the whole thing now and move it in there so that it fits the tire perfectly fine. Let's check the other tire as you can see it is a little bit more inside so let's put it inside like that and as you can see now the tire looks good. Okay, now the tire is being rotated if we select this brake pads of the tire let's move this brake pad right there okay let's set it in there somewhere like that okay so now this tire is set up now let's do the back tire so if we select the back tile let's set this to zero then in here let's rotate this on 180 then let's put this tile in there actually let's move this tile to this side and let's now position it correctly As you can see position correctly so now let's move it to this side like that and now as you can see it is it has been added correctly Okay, so we have this tire right here now. 
and we have the front tire as well so now with both of this added let's check the colliders of each of the tire as you can see there is the collider let's move it a little bit upwards and let's select the back the back tire collider okay here it is let's move him down like there or actually just leave it as it is now if we play the game you can now notice that the tires are working perfectly fine as you can see the front tire is working perfectly fine but there is a problem with the back tire the back tire is not moving fine so let's fix the back tire I think it is the issue with the collider of the tire if we check this one as you can see this one works perfectly fine but let's check the back tire here it is let's move it down below let's move it inside the tire now if we play the game and change into scene view here it is this is the tire now let's position it correctly okay like this also let's select this tire and move it a little bit in the upward direction but first of all let's copy the component of the collider so copy component and right here let's click on paste component values now let's play the game again now let's move it and now as you can see the tile looks good okay so now the vehicle of the player is now working perfectly fine as you can see there is some issue still a little bit issue with this tile but you can now just fix this issue if you have the same issue or else you can use different car okay i am just using this one this car has some issues with the tile but you can use different car okay and your car will not have any tire issues okay so now with our player vehicle added now in the next video we will add the other future in which the player will sit inside this vehicle